Hey everyone, welcome to La Rush XO. My name is Victoria Lynn. Today's project is going to be on how to dream big, but not only big, how to map it out. All of us are pretty big dreamers, but none of us take out the time to actually break down every step until the point that it's actually doable and achievable. So today's tutorial is on how to do exactly that. Okay, so I have two boards I'm going to show you guys today. One I'm making for my friends, and it's going to be a little bit different from mine. Her is going to incorporate a calendar so that she can keep track of her goals. Mine is a little different. It's already made, but it's really old, and I'm going to revamp it. This one has my latest goals, pictures of some family members, and things that I like. But the first one I'm going to do is hers. What we got for her is one cork board, a pattern that she liked, a ribbon to go across, buttons to separate, her calendar, and then thumbtacks to hang up things that she wants to put. Now to get started on this, it's best to have a marker to mark off where it is at the material end so that she can save it and use it for another project. To put the material onto the board, you could use hot glue, which is what I use for this one. Because as you can see here, I kept my edges, but with her, we're going to go over it and fold it in the back. So the best thing for this is a staple gun. Okay, on to the second one. I'm going to start by removing all the things that I have and collecting my thumbtacks for my next board. Okay guys, so we got done with the very first half of the project. Here is the ending result of the first board. And the ending result of the second board. Now we're going to move on to putting on anything you want. For an example of my board, I'm going to put dreams and steps that I want. Things that remind me and keep me happy and motivated. As in, as for this board, she's going to keep a calendar 
keep things that are going to motivate her and things to do on a daily basis, like a to-do list. For the second half of the project, we have to decorate. She chose three simple red buttons, so hers is simple to do. Now for my board, I chose these little pearls and I'm just going to add them along the X. I've already put the needle and thread through the pearl. I'm going to split open the threads like this, if you can see it. Put the needle right through it. Pull it so that the pearl can stay in place. Then I'm going to start wherever I want along my X. I choose to begin at the very top. Don't go through the entire board, just a little bit of the material. Go in, pull out, make sure the pearl goes all the way in. Stick it through the ribbon, pull out. Pull it through the pearl, tie in it, and repeat. Step three is putting everything on the board, whether it's goals, dreams, memorabilia, or things that you think is really cute and can motivate you every day. I'm going to start off with my board. My board is completed. I put my little pearls, if you can see them, and then I started off with my goals. My first goal is pass the semester with a 2.5 or higher, which I've actually been able to do every semester, thank God. Pass math. I'm not good at math and if you are hallelujah to you because if you know math to me you have superpowers so give me some um, another one is maintain balance and basically that means keeping balance between my friendships my relationships with people my blog on point and making sure that I do good in school another one is find a daycare job what that is is a like a medical company that facilitates jobs for nurses and medical students my my last one is save $3,000 by the end of the year. And that's basically to do, obviously, whatever I wanted, but more towards moving out. I used to live on my own, and I want to go right back to it. Another one is this trendable newsletter that I got. Um, it's an app, kind of like an Instagram, but for strictly fashion. And I don't know if they have it for Android, but they have it for Apple products. And they wrote me an email asking me to participate in the best dress challenge from Vanity Fair. Um... Moving on to things that inspire me is this bookmark my mother got me from the Footprints in the Sand. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this religious story, but it's really nice. I'm not going to go through it, but if you're interested, again, it's Footprints in the Sand, and uh, it's really nice to listen to. Another one is a eulogy card from Angel's late godfather. A picture of my grandparents when they were younger, Mickey and Minnie in love, my favorite brand, Steve Madden. This says, I dare you to love me. This is my mom and my dad when they were younger. This is a note my sister wrote to me when she first started to learn how to write. My father in the Navy. A really cute bracelet from Disney called Not a Dream and it says I wish to live happily ever after. My name tag when I was a CNA. And these funny underwear that actually are supposed to represent my boyfriend because he's Dominican so like banana, platano, blah blah blah. Then my name and graffiti. So you guys, that's it. Out of all my projects, this really has to be one of my favorites. Of course, besides making a mannequin. But this is inspirational. A lot of people have big dreams, and that's all they do is they dream. You really need to have a visual effect of how it is that you're going to get there. If you want to be a doctor, do it. You want to be a rock star, do it. Just have a plan, five-step plan each of how it is that you're going to get there. And I promise you will. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Subscribe to all my social media networks. And visit my website, LaRocheXO.com. Bye, guys.